spring and then summer says, uh, or we go into summer and then spring says, not just yeah. yet. <laughs> we go into fall and summer says, nope, not just yet. So uh, is that what's going to happen today? Are we still going to feel like we're in the 70s? Yeah, so we're still holding into the 70s today, and this is kind of typical for September. It's that cold polar air mass battling out with that tropical air mass, so that's why we kind of see summer battling with fall. And right now, we're still holding on to these warmer than normal temperatures. We're dry for us this morning, pretty much looking at a dry day today as this cold front continues to push down to the south. High pressure from the north is funneling in. Now, some models in particular are trying to pick up on a little bit of rain to still be squeezed into the atmosphere today, but I'm really not buying it. I think most of us are going to stay dry, all thanks to that high pressure coming closer to home for us. So altogether, where we are looking at a mostly dry day today, we're keeping up with dry weather into both Thursday and Friday, so that car wash forecast should be good to go. Even into the start of the weekend, most of us still look to stay fairly dry. Where we have that cold front pass through yesterday, that high pressure system back behind, that's bringing us some cool dry air. So we're going to see our dew points continue to drop throughout the day today. Some of us yesterday were feeling a little bit sticky. Today we will start to see those dew points drop and we'll keep up with that for the next few days. Cold front approaches the area this weekend though, so that'll help those dew points try to build back into the upper 50s, low 60s. Today, as Joshua said, still holding into the 70s. That's still true. Most of us will be mainly into the 70s, lower elevations, upper 70s, low 80s. We'll continue to see decreasing clouds throughout the day today, so it is going to be a really nice day for us. Here's a look at Futurecast. Notice that it's trying to pick up on some rain. I'm really not buying this. Most models are showing that we'll continue to stay dry, and that's what I'm thinking too. But it wouldn't surprise me if a stray shower, just an individual little cell, would try to come through. But all together, I think most of us are going to stay dry with decreasing clouds. Overnight, we'll keep up with these dry conditions. We'll have mostly clear skies tonight. Temperatures for us by tomorrow morning, upper 40s, low 50s. So a little bit of a cooler night is in store for us than what we witnessed the past two nights. Looking at tomorrow, we'll still hold into the 70s. We'll have plenty of sunshine for our Thursday. Let's talk about Sam real quick. It is still a major hurricane, Category 4 status looks to continue as a major hurricane for the next few days into this weekend. It'll try to weaken back down, but still National Hurricane Center has it holding strong into Category 4, then in Category 3, still considered major, dropping down to a Category 2 hurricane, tries to by later this weekend. Now it's not going to directly impact the United States, but those large swells could head to the East Coast, providing dangerous rip currents and dangerous surf conditions. Altogether, our area locally staying pretty quiet. 20% chance of rain today, meaning isolated stray shower isn't completely off the table, but most of us will stay dry. Temperatures will hold into the 70s even throughout this weekend. We'll try to cool things down next week. We are noticing our rain chances build in next week too, as we'll have a couple of front systems try to squeeze by. So a few showers, a couple of isolated storms possible for the beginning of the next work week. Most of us will be dry next several days.